perfect. That's all done. Hanbit's chocolate banana bread. Hi, I'm Hanbit and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi everybody, it's Hanbit here. 안녕하세요, 저 한빛입니다. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chocolate banana bread. Having looked at various different types of banana bread, I think you can split it into two categories. One is banana bread without chocolate, and one is banana bread with chocolate. I've already uploaded a video on the banana bread without chocolate, so that was banana bread with spices like cinnamon and nuts. I know that many of you have watched it and made it because I've received a lot of positive comments. This video is a sequel to the banana bread recipe that I uploaded before, and this time around, I'm going to show you the chocolate version. Hope you enjoy it, and hope many of you make it. Before I start making the batter, I'm going to prepare the pan by greasing it with butter. I'll go over the ingredients. First of all, this is banana bread, so you've got bananas, and you want really ripe bananas. Typically, you would leave the bananas outside and it'll turn ripe in time. But if you want to speed up this process, please take a look at the descriptions. I've put down some tips on how to do it. Here, I have both grapeseed oil and butter. Most recipes use only butter or only oil. I use a mix of both. And the reason is because the butter adds a lot of depth in the flavor. We all love butter and butter makes everything taste delicious. Regarding the oil, oil helps in giving a smooth texture to your banana bread. So a mix of the two works best for me. Whole eggs, light brown sugar. I would recommend you to use light brown sugar rather than white sugar because it will make your banana bread taste better. Powdered ingredients, I've got quite a few here. All purpose flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and a bit of salt. And finally, this is a chocolate banana bread, so covered your chocolate. And what's interesting here is that both of them are dark covered your chocolates, but one is melted and one isn't. And the reason why I did it this way is because the melted coverture chocolate gets dispersed in the batter. So it provides the underlying chocolate flavor for this chocolate banana bread. And what this unmelted chocolate does is it does melt. It's not chocolate chips, so it does melt in the oven. But then what happens is it creates these pockets of concentrated chocolate within the banana bread. And it does make your chocolate banana bread taste more chocolatey. The first step in preparing the batter is to mash the bananas. I think the best is to use a fork, it's old school and it works, so why not? By the way, the sweetness of your banana bread would depend a lot on the sweetness of the bananas. So basically how ripe it is. It's not uncommon that your banana bread varies in terms of the sweetness from time to time because of the bananas. As long as you know about this, you're fine. Melted butter goes in. Grapeseed oil. Let's mix everything together. Eggs go in. And mix it. Light brown sugar. Just mix it gently. I'm not trying to incorporate air here. I am using leaveners anyway, which is baking soda and baking powder. So simply, I just need to mix this. And now the dry ingredients. Let's mix it. The tip here is to start from the middle. Keep stirring in a circular motion and it'll work. Great, I don't see any dry ingredients, so I'll move on to the next stage. Now the melted coverture chocolate will go in. Great, now the unmelted coverture chocolate. Great, that looks well mixed, so I'm now going to pour it into my pan. I'm just going to tap it a few times to flatten it out. 
Great, now I'm going to put this in the preheated oven and bake it. Right, my banana bread has just come out of the oven. It's hot and it just smells delicious. There's one thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to check whether it has been fully baked or not. The way to do it is just use a stick or a rod and stick it in. And if you don't get any wet batter coming out with it, then it's fine, it's fully baked. Honestly, it smells so good. It smells of chocolate and banana. So now I'm going to let this cool completely. So here's my chocolate banana bread that has completely cooled down. But as usual, I'm going to do some decorations on top so it looks even nicer. This is chocolate banana bread, so I'm going to dust some cocoa powder on top. I'm going to place some crushed banana chips on top. Just a bit of chocolate curl. A bit of green to bring this to life. Perfect, that's all done. Hamid chocolate banana bread. Mm. Honestly, this is so good. To start with, it's chocolate and bananas, so it simply has to be good. And on top of that, I've used both oil and butter, so it's smooth and soft in terms of the texture. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on chocolate banana bread. It's delicious and it's quite easy to make, so please try this recipe. I'll come back next time with another amazing dessert. Thank you very much. Kamsamida.